Post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, is a mental disorder that typically occurs in people who have experienced some sort of traumatic event, reliving the event through nightmares or flashbacks caused by a related trigger. For example, a shooting survivor could get their PTSD triggered by firing off. There are many possible causes for PTSD, such as serious accidents, physical or sexual assault, abuse, including childhood or domestic abuse, exposure to traumatic events at work, including remote exposure, serious health problems such as being admitted to intensive care, experiences such as losing a baby, the death of someone close to you, war and conflict, and torture, and many more. Symptoms can start anywhere from within a month to years after the traumatic event. Some of the potential symptoms can be categorized into four groups. The first one is re-experiencing, which is flashbacks, recurring dreams about the event. Avoidance, which is avoiding reminders, thoughts, and feelings of the event. Arousal and reactivity, which is being on edge, tense, or having difficulty concentrating. And cognition and mood, cognitive distortions about the event, loss of interest in activities you previously enjoyed, or continuous negative emotions. The National Institute of Mental Health tells us that to be diagnosed with PTSD, an adult must have at least one re-experiencing symptom, at least one avoidance symptom, at least two arousal and reactivity symptoms, at least two cognition and mood symptoms. Though PTSD is incredibly difficult to deal with, it can be treated. Let's talk about the treatments for PTSD. The two main ones are psychotherapy and medication. Psychotherapy is done by a mental health professional and helps people with PTSD by a allowing them to identify their triggers and manage their symptoms. Cognitive behavioral therapy is the most common type of psychotherapy used to treat PTSD or known as SSRIs, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. SSRIs aid in treating the symptoms of PTSD and are often prescribed along psychotherapy. Stereotypes depict people with PTSD as dangerous, unpredictable, and incompetent. They are even sometimes blamed for their own illnesses. This leads to stigmas that lead to the discrimination and exclusion of people with PTSD. They may have trouble seeking out educational and job opportunities, and they also usually refrain from seeking out help because they feel like they're not enough. However, if you're from PTSD, please get help. You can do so by reaching out to local mental health professionals, talking to therapists, or even going to PTSD treatment centers. You can also call PTSD hotlines where you can find the numbers online. There are some websites such as www.ptsd.va.gov and www.ptsdunited.org that can also help people learn about PTSD. If you know anyone who is struggling with PTSD, make an effort to help them. Support from loved ones is very crucial to the recovery of affected individuals. Give them a safe space to talk and be a helping hand in their healing process. Another thing to remember is to not take their actions personally. People suffering from PTSD may lash out, seem distant or angry, but they may not be thinking about how their actions affect others as they're going through a lot by themselves. Thank you so much for watching our video and learning about what PTSD is with us.